When I first started my skincare journey, I really didn't think that I'd be able to have an eye cream in my routine. You know, eye creams were just so expensive. We're talking 40, 50, 60 dollars all the way up. They were just so inaccessible for somebody like me who was on a budget. So when I started to get into K-Beauty, I was floored to find all of these really affordable eye creams. We're talking under $10 affordable. And the thing is, they worked. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I wanna to share with you guys some of my all time favorite eye creams for every budget. We've got $10, $15, $20, and $30 eye creams for every age and every skin type. Okay, so first up, let's talk about our $10 and under category. And we have to start with the eye cream that started it all for me, an oldie but a goodie. This is the Mise en Snail Repair Eye Cream. Now this comes in two sizes. So you can get a 15 milliliter tube and that is $7, such a good price. They also have a 25 milliliter jar that's gonna be a little bit more that retails between about $12 and $15. So star ingredients of this eye cream. We've got snail secretion, obviously. Now snail secretion is a pretty exciting ingredient and we love it in our skincare routine, right? We love it in our essences and in our serums. But why do we like it around the eyes so much? Well, not only is snail secretion really hydrating and very plumping for the skin, we do know that, but it actually actually does contain some compounds found within the snail secretion that is amazing for fighting wrinkles. So snail is actually a really effective anti-aging ingredient. Now we also have niacinamide, which is an effective brightener for the eye area, plus adenosine. Now this is a really unsung hero, especially you'll see this a lot in K-Beauty products, but a lot of times when K-Beauty products claim to help you fight wrinkles, it's because of the ingredient adenosine. Now we've also got uh, one form of peptides in this one. I love to see peptides in eye creams because peptides really do help support the collagen structure of your skin. And we know the collagen structure is what keeps our skin smooth, firm, plump, and wrinkle-free. So anything we can do to support that collagen structure is very, very good. This also contains hyaluronic acid in the form of sodium hyaluronate, which means that it's going to help our skin retain hydration and plump it up. So the texture of this is very thin. It's almost gel-like in its feeling on the skin, and it's incredibly hydrating. It absorbs into the skin immediately, and it dries down without any stickiness or any tackiness. So those of you who are afraid of that kind of sticky feeling from snail secretion, do not worry because the finish of this eye cream is there's really no finish at all. It's completely neutral. There's no stickiness in sight. So the benefits of this eye cream are hydration. This really hydrates the skin around your eye area. And because it does that, it also has a plumping effect too. So this is really gonna help keep your eyes looking fresh, uh, keeping the skin looking smooth. Um, if you even have any like minor fine lines, this is really gonna help plump them up and improve the appearance of them. Now this is really what I would call a really good beginner eye cream or like an intro eye cream. This is going to be perfect for those of you who are in your early 20s, maybe even your late teens. You want to include an eye cream because you want to help preserve your eye area. You really want to maintain and take care of what you have going on. Not necessarily looking for powerful anti-aging ingredients, but just something that is going to maintain your eye area. This is a perfect eye cream for you. Now, I also just want to point out there that this eye cream is completely free of alcohol, it's free of any added fragrances, and it's also free of essential oils. Another really affordable pick under $10 is the Milky Dress Wrinkle and Whitening Eye Cream. This comes in one size. This is a 15 milliliter tube, and it retails for $6.00. Six dollars, you cannot beat that price. So star ingredients in this eye cream are niacinamide. This is a great uh, skin brightener. This also includes grapeseed oil, avocado oil, and olive oils, really great moisturizers. This has ginseng, which can also help brighten up your skin. This also it contains green tea, 
mulberry root and it also has an extract called bear berry which when I looked into this it, with research it's actually an excellent skin brightener because compounds found within bear berry contain about 5 to 15 percent of arbutin and we know arbutin is a very effective skin brightener. Now the texture of this one is again, this is gonna be a more of a thin gel-like um, um, eye cream. I almost call it like an eye essence in a way because it's just so thin and hydrating. Absorbs into the skin so, so quickly and there is no finish on this one. Nothing sticky or nothing tacky. So what are the benefits of this eye cream? Well, it definitely helps to hydrate your eye area. Definitely, it is a hydrator and a plumper. But beyond that, this actually has some really effective eye brightening capabilities. This can really help brighten up a dark under eye area. Now, I just want to put it out there because of my personal experience. I'm the one who's been testing these products and I want to let you know, I do not suffer from dark circles. What I have is actually how it appears on my uh, skin tone is actually red. I get quite a bit of redness underneath my eyes as well as on top of my eyelids, especially when I haven't been sleeping very well, uh, not drinking enough water, and not eating like a fairly healthy diet. If I've been eating a lot of junk food, those are the types of things that make my red uh, under eye circles worse. So because it doesn't show up as a dark under eye circle, I just want to let you guys know that um, I can only speak from my experience of reducing redness around my eyes. This is a very effective redness reducer. Based on the ingredients, we've got uh, niacinamide. We've also got the bearberry with that um, five to 15% arbutin. We've got um, ginseng, we've got mulberry root, we've got green tea. These are all effective skin brighteners, which is why I really recommend this eye cream. Still, I'm going to recommend this for those of you who are just kind of getting started out, I would say in your early 20s, but I definitely would recommend this one for those of you who stay up really late at night, those of you who have dark eye circles. You students out there, I know you're not sleeping enough. This is the eye cream for you. It's super affordable and it's really going to help target any kind of discoloration underneath your eye area. Now this one is alcohol free, but we do have the use of a little bit of fragrance and essential oils. All right, moving into our under $15 category, we have the Purito Centella Green Level Eye Cream. This is a favorite of mine. Now this comes in a 30 milliliter tube and this retails between about 10 and 12 Still an amazing deal. Okay, star ingredients on this one. Of course, we got to start with the Centella in here. This is the Centella Green Level line, which means that this actually contains 49% of Centella extract. That is a lot of Centella. So why Centella? Now, we know this is a really good one for uh, redness, inflammation. It's great for acne-prone skin. It really soothes sensitive skin. We know that about Centella, but Centella is a multifaceted skincare ingredient. What can't Centella do? Centella is like the new niacinamide, right? What can't niacinamide do? What can't Centella do? So first things first, Centella can actually help your skin retain more hydration. It's a very effective hydrator. Number two, Centella actually has compounds found within it that help fight wrinkles. It is an effective anti-aging routine. But the most exciting thing, number three, is that Centella can actually help stimulate your skin's collagen production right? Remember I talked about the collagen structure. This is the most important thing that we want to think about when we're talking about uh, fighting wrinkles or preventing fine lines or preventing the signs of aging. It all comes down to the collagen structure of your skin and you want to ensure that your body has enough collagen to support, you know, firm skin, supple skin so that you can fight those wrinkles. Because the thing is, once the wrinkles happen, it is very hard to treat them, but it isn't that hard to at least take the steps to prevent them, right? Now, collagen is something that the best way to get collagen is to stimulate your body's own collagen production because applying collagen itself onto your skin, it just doesn't work that way. It just doesn't work that well. It just doesn't work that way. Um, and so when we can put ingredients like centella or vitamin C, these are two great, excellent collagen stimulators onto our skin, we're really taking those necessary steps to preserve our collagen structure by producing more collagen. Okay, that was the collagen lecture. 
So remember at the beginning of this video when we were talking about the mise on eye cream, remember how that had peptides in it and I told you that the peptides actually support your collagen structure. So it's a very good ingredient to have in skin in um, eye creams. So not only do we have 49% centella in this Purito eye cream that is going to help uh, fight wrinkles but also uh, create more collagen on your skin, we've also got the use of three different peptides and I'm not talking like peptides thrown in at the bottom of the list these peptides are in the middle of the ingredients list indicating to me that they're used in a pretty decent amount uh, in the formula right so three different kinds of peptides plus there's even more <laughs> plus uh, adenosine remember really good wrinkle fighter we've got fatty acids cholesterol and ceramide so it's an effective moisturizer for your skin um, and then we've also got skin brighteners that include acetyl glucosamine and we also have C daffodil this thing is jam-packed full of beneficial ingredients so the texture of the purito eye cream is thin and runny it's almost like a lotion like cream and it's a very moisturizing cream remember we've got some really great natural moisturizing factors in the ingredients list so this is a very much more moisturizing cream where the first two that we talked about were a lot more hydrating now this does absorb into the skin very quickly um, because it's a really thin texture it's just really easily accepted by the skin and this one um, leaves your skin really silky smooth and soft but it doesn't leave it feeling rich or greasy um, on the surface of your skin so this plays really well with anything you want to layer on top of it including eye makeup so the benefits of the purito eye cream are definitely moisturizing it is very nourishing to your eye area but this is also something that really seems to smooth your eye area the skin around your eyes it really creates a smooth appearance and it really does help plump up fine lines so that they are no longer visible this really does make your skin look a little bit firmer and smoother I've definitely noticed that benefit with this and it's it's got to come down to the combination of the collagen stimulating centella along with the peptides it's a really powerful combination it's a gentle combination but it's powerful which is why I really recommend this eye cream for those of you who are in your late 20s 25 and over um, early 30s and beyond this is really the type of eye cream you want to start to look for when you are kind of ramping up your anti-aging or what I like to call well aging routine because it's all about preventing damage on your skin and like I said these are powerful ingredients that can really make a difference and in your late 20s your 30s and a little bit beyond this is when you want to start using these types of ingredients because this is going to help to start to prevent that damage and I do say that this is great for beyond that too because these are still the ingredients you want to look for when you're looking to really preserve your eye area to make it look Look rejuvenated to make it look smooth and plump now I do want to give you guys a little bit of a warning here we don't have any alcohol being used or synthetic fragrances but we do have a few um, essential oils being used in this eye cream so moving on to our $20 uh, category this is the neogen layer cure stick and white truffle now this is one oil stick that retails around the $20 mark now this is a multi-use stick so this can be used on your face on your lips on your cuticles but it can also be used around the eye area and it's actually a pretty effective um, eye product as well so star ingredients on this one truffle oil of course but what I was really excited to find on the ingredients list of this one is actually the use of ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids beautiful barrier loving ingredients there's also phytosphingosine which is a really fun to say but it, that's actually a fantastic barrier fortifying ingredient as well we also have really moisturizing avocado and olive oils being used now big warning here for those who are sensitive to essential oils especially around the eye area Tons of essential oils are being used in this one, including uh, rose, geranium, peppermint, bergamot, and orange oils. So the texture of this one, it is a solid, like balmy kind of stick. And then as you glide it across your skin, it sort of melts into a very 
thin uh, nourishing layer of oil but it's almost like a dry oil finish because it, it does kind of like absorb down quickly and it is a uh, very moisturizing obviously because it's an oil we kind of picked up on the fact that it's going to be very moisturizing which is why I actually recommend this for people who have very dry um, eye areas the skin around your eyes if it's very dry if you have dry patches this is going to be a product you may want to look into because as I said we've got barrier loving ingredients in here that can help repair your barrier can help um, fortify your skin can really help to repair that lipid layer on your skin this is very important now if you live in a climate where there's a lot of wind even if it's like a um, dry and arid desert like climate but with like a lot of wind or even sandstorms or if you live in a really cold and icy dry place you know winters can get really really bad here I call it winterized skin you know when your skin is just like wind burned I actually recommend this for you guys because this is not only does this have the barrier repairing and loving ingredients, plus it's incredibly moisturizing and nourishing for dry skin, this also has occlusive capabilities that can really help protect your skin. So this is actually something that you could even, if you'd like to, layer on top of another eye cream, especially if you're in that type of climate, to use it as a protective layer. This on its own is actually a beautiful eye cream for travel because think about it there's no liquid here I've used this on my travels before this is actually how I discovered this um, this stick for um, usage around your eye area because I like to do carry-on and so I'm always eliminating any area that I can eliminate a liquid in that's what I'm gonna do and this is a, a beautiful um, beautiful product for travel and it does really nourish your eye area all right moving on to something of a cult classic in the K beauty community this is the Tony Moly the Choke Choke Green Tea Watery Eye Cream. This is well loved in the K Beauty community. This is a 30 milliliter tube. This retails around $20. Now, star ingredients here are going to be 40% of pure green tea. Now, from my personal experience, I've noticed that green tea is actually amazing for reducing redness. Not only like redness associated with like inflammation or acne, but also the redness that I find under my eye area. This actually has been really good for reducing um, the red discoloration around my eyes. So I love to see green tea in eye products. This also features niacinamide and adenosine. So the texture of this one is going back to that kind of like hydrating gel-like, thin gel-like consistency. And this is really easily absorbed by the skin and it definitely feels very nourishing on the skin. So the benefits of this one are definitely to plump up the skin with lots and lots of hydration. But this also seems to have a very effective brightening capability as well. Like I said, especially if you have a red discoloration around the eyes, this is going to have really good benefits for red discoloration especially. Now, I do kind of want to issue a little bit of a warning about this particular one. There are essential oils in this. Uh, this uses lemon as well as rosewood essential oils. I don't know if that is quite what what caused a little bit of irritation with this cream let me explain i want to issue a warning for those of you who have sensitive eye areas i particularly don't have a sensitive eye area um, however when i was using this eye cream during allergy season when my eyes were feeling a little bit more inflamed and the eye area itself can feel a little bit more vulnerable i guess would be the the, the best way to describe it i did find that this eye cream it wasn't full on irritation, but it definitely wasn't the best thing that I was putting on my skin during allergy season when my eyes were more susceptible to irritation, my eye area. The other thing I want to note about this one as well is sometimes if I put eye drops into my eyes, like right after putting in eye cream, if there's like a little bit of leftover, I guess, essence on my eyelashes, it kind of got into my eyes and it stung a little bit. The only reason I bring that up is because I didn't really notice that with any of the other eye creams that I've used in the past, but I definitely did note that with this one. So if you are sensitive around your eye area, if you're sensitive to fragrances or anything like that, 
you may just want to avoid this one. There is a potential for irritation with this eye cream. So when I wasn't using this during allergy season, I loved this eye cream. It's very hydrating, very it really plumps up my skin, but what I really liked this for was the fact that it really made my eyes look bright and it really decreased that redness around my eyes, which is why I still recommend this, especially for those of you who have the same issue as me, redness underneath your eye area. I would definitely recommend this for you, and this is definitely more of that kind of like beginner eye cream if you're in your early 20s this is going to be a really good choice for you even though this contains adenosine there aren't really um very exciting or promising um real you know like like star anti-aging ingredients in this one like the peptides and the centella so personally speaking i think this is probably best for those of you who aren't quite worried about the anti-aging and you guys are really looking for um, hydration benefits and looking for um, brightening benefits this is going to be a good eye cream to look at and moving on to our final category which is the 30 dollars price point this is going to be the manufactory 4gf eye cream now this is a 30 milliliter tube and this retails right around the $30 mark and I have to tell you I think this is my very favorite eye cream out of the entire bunch and let me tell you why because it definitely comes down to the ingredients so star ingredients here we have the use of four different growth factors or aka peptides and that's where the name comes from 4GF four growth factors. So this has four different peptides. And as I've told you throughout this entire video, peptides is one of those ingredients I love to see in eye creams, especially if you're like me starting off on your well aging routine, wanting to really kind of take it up a notch from just hydrating your eye area, but to now also helping to fight um, uh, future, you know, damage or wrinkles or fine lines on your eye area, preserving your eye area, keeping it looking youthful and smooth and firm. This is the type of ingredients you want to look for. Not only that, but this also contains quite a few antioxidant ingredients. Now, antioxidants are a very good anti-aging uh, ingredient to have because antioxidants, what antioxidants do is they protect you from oxidative damage, which is very good. You're getting, you're getting protection but antioxidants can also help repair damage that was already done on your skin. So it's protective, but it's also reparative. Antioxidants can actually help protect you from UV damage. This is very, very important. Now, the best thing that you can do to protect yourself from UV damage is to use what? UV filters, sunscreen. However, when you can combine those UV filters with antioxidants, you're getting additional benefits, additional protection. It's a little bit more peace of mind. So you always want to start to look for those antioxidant ingredients if you're looking to start your well aging routine, not just around your eye area, um, but on your face as well. So it's exciting to see antioxidants used in this one. Niacinamide, star ingredient. We always love that one. Adenosine, we know that to be great for wrinkles. This also has pumpkin ferment extract. It also has licorice root, another unsung hero of skin brightening, by the way. Mulberry extract, again, a brightener. This also has um, the moisturizers of squalolane, beta-glucan, and panthenol. Whew. Amazing, amazing, amazing beneficial ingredients in this eye cream. Benefits of this eye cream, because there are quite a few. So it definitely is a moisturizing eye cream, and that's very good to keep the eye area moisturized, but this is also something that is very brightening, and it actually really helps me manage the redness of my eye area. Now, this also helps dark eye circles. Now remember, I don't, I can't speak from personal experience because I don't have dark eye circles, but speaking to a couple of my friends in the skincare community who actually recommended this to me, they have seen benefits with their dark eye circles. Now, dark eye circles, you guys who suffer dark, dark eye circles know it could be hereditary, it could be dietary, it could be lots of different things, it could just be your rest. But the fact remains that a lot of people have seen benefits with their dark eye circles. They really have responded to this eye cream. So not only can it help with discoloration underneath the eyes, but I've also noticed that it has helped to smooth and firm my eye area. This is why this wins, at least for now, my holy grail eye, um, eye cream crown. <laughs> this is my check of approval. This is really working really well to keep the eye area very smooth and firm. I've noticed a difference, and it's got to be because of those, those peptides that are in here, plus the whole host of other amazing beneficial ingredients. But, you know, I really place 
I'm really gonna place my bet here on the peptides in this formula. So do I recommend this? Of course I recommend this eye cream. Now this one really is for you guys who are in your early 30s and beyond because this has some really beneficial and potent anti-aging ingredients in it. This is really for you guys who are on your well-aging journey. You are on your anti-aging journey. This is a great eye cream to add into your routine, yet it is still affordable, it's gentle, and it's not taking any extreme measures. So let me know in the comment box below, how do you guys feel about eye creams? If you made it this far, you probably like them, but I know some people feel like eye creams aren't necessary. So let me know, how do you feel about eye creams and what are you doing to take care of your eye area right now? Let me know in the comment box. If you've made it this far and you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new skincare videos every single week and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you never miss the next new video. I hope you guys are having a really beautiful day and I absolutely cannot wait to see you in the next video and we'll talk soon. Bye.